how do you find the $10 million of carbon credits that you want to buy? You got to go to the actual developers of these small whole projects. Then you have to do due diligence on those projects because there's no universal naming system. There's no exchange. So if I'm the CFO the like, of Microsoft and I have a, I assume I have yeah. a, a small team that does this or so, uh, No, they have a full-time team of 30 or 40 people. Right, doing that. Now, Microsoft can afford that. They're huge. They have tremendous But the big cash part flow. of what these 30 or 40 people are doing is figuring out, okay. Is it real? There's Where this... do I buy it? Is it legit? Does it meet the standards promulgated by the United Nations and the methodology? And like they're doing all this legwork and that's just transaction friction, right? So think and about it this way. And even after they do that though, Andrew, my understanding is they still can't, from a FASB accounting perspective, it's still not a stock. It's not a tradable asset and it's still a liability. So they, and, they, and they use no it to liquidity. offset their, yeah. So because there's no liquidity, sorry, but because there's no liquidity, what they do is they buy it to offset immediately because there's no, there's only negative consequences to them to hold on to it after they buy it. So that's called buy to retire. And that's the modality of the, of, of the old market.